finished repairing the steps that I had torn off and uh, I'm ready to continue on. So my next step is going to be not necessarily on the ship itself. I've got three lifeboats to make. So let me show you how that progressed and turned out. I'm beginning the prep work and assembly of the three lifeboats that come with this particular version of the model. And these pieces are very, very fragile. And even though they're on a black walnut sheet and they have a little bit of thickness to them, I'm just concerned that I will snap some of these off. So uh, I'm going to use what tool I have available to me, which is a bandsaw. But a scroll saw would also come in very handy for something like this. As you begin modeling, there's all kinds of little things that you come across that come in real handy. This uh, particular light, it's an LED light, under $20, picked it up through Amazon. And I have three or four of them now. And what I like, it's magnetic, so it sticks very firmly and I can move it in close. And it's just, uh, just been a good investment. This is where I use the, the painter's tape so that I don't have small pieces that I've cut fall down and get sucked into my sweeper. My apologies, I don't actually have the size of this blade, but you can see it's, it's pretty tiny. And that'll enable me to cut all these pieces out. I left part of uh, this placard D intact so I could put the parts that I cut out on top of a matching part. Just easier to keep track of them and make sure I have the right part. I will say on this particular project, as far as building the the uh, lifeboats, patience, patience, patience. What you're seeing here are three pieces, and it's the the bottom rail of the lifeboat, one of these ribs, and then there's a piece that, if I can find it here, right here, and this ends up being the, the nose of the, of the lifeboat. This would be the, the front as you're looking at it. It kind of slivers in on, on goes on top of that rib, but if you can see there's a little notch right in there. That'll be the next rib, so it just goes right up to that notch. I'm using wood glue on this because it gives me a little time to get it positioned, and then it slowly starts to harden, and I could get it on as straight as I possibly could. So that's going to be my plan for these. Unfortunately, when doing some of the assembly on the lifeboat, my sound system did not record my voice, so I'm going to do some clarification here on the lifeboat. And it started early on. In the photo, they show uh, part D21 on the second rib here. In reality, that should be left completely out and blank. They correct it here. They show D21 in green. And then there should be a space. There should not be a support here. These are like benches for inside the boat. That's one thing. And then the other, they have this lower part of the lifeboat support system as C16. That does not exist. It's D16. The, what I'll call floorboards on this, you can insert from the front. Um, that's how the instructions kind of show it. I would have thought it would have been easier to do before I put all these uh, cross members in. But I have the first one in. I'm working on the second. Okay. I was able to get them in. Now it's just a matter of positioning them so they're in the right, on the right side and glued in place. So that's basically the floor of the lifeboat. I'm pleased with how this came together. A couple things to make mention of. There's a rectangular piece on the back here. And there's like a rudder support that gets glued on. Uh, that would be, as soon as I find it. The rectangular piece is C2. 
and this, I'll call it a rudder support, is uh, marked C17. Again, that is a slight error. That really is D17. D is in David. It, the shape of it, interfered with this and put it at too much of an angle. So I just sanded a little bit of that off to make this go down flat. I also did a little bit of sanding with my miniature belt sander right here. So when I put the planking on, it'll go on smoothly. There's a couple little gaps there where this did not reach up as far as it should, but it's not a, an issue at all. The planking will cover it. So I'm all set to start planking the lifeboat. I'll get that started and show you what it looks like when it's done. There's a top plank on each lifeboat, so it just goes on the very upper portion. It's part number C1, and I've been bending them to have them preformed. Okay, I've soaked this in water and many of you know I burned up my plank bender so I've been just using my soldering iron and it's working just fine. These do have a slanted side and that's what goes towards the front. So I need to make sure that I do the two directions the right way. And this is kind of an art form. The more you do it, the better you get at it. And I'm, I'm happy to say I'm getting pretty good at it. So I put that in place. I can see I need to bend a little bit more right there. At this point, I can just use my hands because I'm not getting that close to the soldering iron. And I just keep test fitting back and forth. I actually need a little less and sometimes you can just kind of tweak it with your hand. You don't want to do too much. You don't want to break it. Okay, that's pretty good because it'll flex some. And then on the back end of it, there's a little bit more of a curve to it. So I kind of put it on there and give it a kind of a tighter curve. And I might even go down here to the tip of the soldering iron. And yeah, see that's starting to curve around there. Just need a little bit more. Okay, that's pretty good. And I'll be able to tweak that in just a little bit. So that I don't mix these up with other planks, I'm going to make all six of them, get them bent, and set them aside for when I finish the other two lifeboats. Here's how I put uh, planks on. I cut the angle there at the front of the little boat on this... Uh, lifeboat and then back here you can see where it crosses so I'll put a pencil mark at the begin of work, beginning of where it crosses and then peek underneath see where the end is another mark and then I'll get something that's a straight edge in this case it's small enough I think I can just mark it and then cut that several different ways just for on camera. I wouldn't recommend cutting this way normally. And then I'll take my belt sander. Let's see if I can move it over here. And again, this is I wouldn't normally have this dust go all over my equipment. But I can use that to fine tune that angle. I've also started using an accelerator with the super glue so it sets up quicker. That's what I did on this part over here and it worked pretty well. There's some more intricate work that you do on the lifeboats and it has to do with this rudder. And the wire that I'm using here is 24 gauge brass, pretty small. Does not come with the ship. I, I suppose you could have used one of the nails or something, but I wanted something smaller. These are part in, and the thing to be aware of is even though it's all part in, there are different sizes. 
So I don't know if you can see, but this has three holes on each side. This one only has one. So this is pretty tedious. There's no way I can show it on camera that I can figure out. So I'm going to go ahead and get that put in place. And this little handle up here, again, th that's two wooden pieces to make that one. And then this is going to end up going on there. And I will cut off the excess wire. I don't know that it was intended this way, but this rectangular piece that went on the back, there was a little opening in it where it uh, fit on, so it had something to glue to. There was a little post sticking out. Well, this little metal piece here is going to fit right inside that indentation for that. And then I'll be able to hook the, the bottom hinge on, and I think that's going to look pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that first, then work on that bottom hinge. I have it assembled, and the, the piece, I may have glued it on wrong, but the piece that's on the very bottom that it attaches to went down too far, so I've kind of clipped that off, and I'm just going to kind of sand it off a little bit, because I don't want that that low. It was hitting the, the uh, ground or the base of the ship where it'll sit, so get, let me get this sanded off. The last step I'm going to do there's some cracks and things that I can see through here and I take just like black caulk and rub it into that and then I'll wipe the outside off and it'll look like a tar sealer in my opinion. I've done that on other things but I'll go ahead and get that done and and then that'll finish my first lifeboat. Just when you think you're done you realize oh there is one more little piece that goes right on the side of the ship. It's a little rub piece. So let me get that on there. This is the lifeboat after I put this black caulk and this is it says it's uh, siliconized acrylic latex elastic sealant. Uh, brand was white lightning. It is black in color. It's the 3006 Ultra all-purpose. So anyway that's what I kind of rubbed into those uh, cracks between the boards. Slits between the boards and then I wiped it all off. Um, I used like a paper towel and some paint thinner. But it left a little residue on there, that's fine. You can see it looks a little darker, different spots, it looks old. So the last piece to go on will be this, and I'm debating on how to do it. Once I'm sure that I'm completely finished, I will give it a coat of tongue oil. This one finger is attached a little bit, so I'm going to have to slide it. Okay, how about this thumb? Nope. So there it is. Here is my finished lifeboat number one. Hopefully on the white background you can see all the different appointments to it. So that's it for segment 21. That took a long time to get one little thing done. As always, thanks for watching.